Hello Linux fans, Rob here, and the DexPad made its way to the Linux Quest household. So instead of doing a typical unboxing, I thought I'd just give you a shot here of the box. Uh, it was very nicely packaged, so I'm not going to go through the whole process. You know, kind of what you'd expect for something that you're spending a hundred bucks on. Uh, included was the HDMI cable, as well as the USB 2.0 um, cable for powering the device and uh, so I just wanted to step through so this is the dex pad I just kind of wanted to step through what was new and different for 2018 as opposed to the dex dock or whatever they were calling it the previous version and so with this one everything lays horizontal um, here is your port where you plug in your phone so this is going to lay flat there's a vent up top for keeping the phone cool. You've got a little rubber bumper here and I don't, I'm going to bring that a little closer so that you can see and that's got a little curve to it so that your phone will be secure you know in case you were to use it as a mouse pad which is possible or in the event that you bump it or something like that. Now one of the other notable differences between last year's model and this year's model is the ports so missing in the 2018 version or the dex pad is an ethernet port so uh, they did away with that but you know they've lowered the cost by fifty dollars as well uh, for me that's a good trade-off because i'm going to use wi-fi on the phone but you'll have two usb ports one hdmi port and again the hdmi cable was included as well as the power connection port so i want to talk about using your phone with the dex pad so i'm going to kind of slide this out of the way here now i've got the official samsung flip cover or s flip cover um, on here and you'll notice that there is a cutout at the bottom and so this is going to let the phone easily connect with the cover on so i would just say that if you have an s9 and or s9 plus and you're planning on picking up a dex pad uh, just make sure that you're aware that your cover may or may not work depending on how much of the bottom is exposed so if you had a lip here or, or perhaps uh, a divider in place it's not going to let this slide all the way up as it needs to but uh, you know pretty compact and uh, the nice thing about the horizontal setup is that you still have access here to your microphone port or your headphone jack if you will um, I say microphone port because that's the way I'm going to use it the headphones that came with the phone include a mic and so while I have this connected you you know I can make and receive phone calls uh, so I think that's going to be a nice setup it's also more compact than the previous version so alright so just wanted to give you a quick rundown on what this looks like what it's all about and uh, now we're going to flip over and go into a first boot up mode. Um, hopefully I've got the right screen capturing software set up so that you'll have a good video of that. All right, stay tuned. So I had two trains of thought on how to do this part of the video. One was to set up a camera behind me that would show you the screen along with the deck setup. Or the other was to use this MobiZen screen recording software so that you could get a full look at the desktop mode or the DeX mode of the Samsung DeX pad. So I went with the latter here so that you could kind of see full screen how things are set up and what it looks like as a desktop OS from your phone. So I'm just going to cover some of the basic basics here in this video primarily because I can't talk today but <laughs> we'll cover some of the basics and I'm actually recording the audio through the headset which is plugged into my phone so if you notice that difference in my audio quality it's because that's the way uh, I'm actually doing this screen recording now with movies in so uh, forgive me if it's terrible hopefully it comes out okay alright so I'm just going to go some of the go over some of the basic layout here so that you get kind of a general feel for what this is like to work with uh, so you'll notice here we've got an icon on the desktop and I left that here uh, you can right click on your icons and from there you could uninstall or remove the shortcut and I decided just to leave that there typically I'll keep a clean desktop and have everything docked here at the bottom as far as the applications are concerned 
And then moving over from there, you've got the application launcher, and that's a left click, and you're going to pull up a full screen of your apps listed with two arrows left and right to scroll through, or you can use your mouse wheel. So that mouse is set up to be able to scroll, uh, which it should. You know, if you've got a scroll wheel on your mouse, you should be able to use it, so it's nice to report that that works. Up top here, you've got a quick link to the Samsung Galaxy apps, which will link you right in to apps that are already set up and conditioned to work well with the full screen desktop mode. And we'll take a look at those in just a moment. And then you've got a quick search here with uh, Samsung deck settings. You could launch right into those settings from here. And then I'll show you here at the bottom under the taskbar. Also a contact us and how to use Samsung decks. So we'll kind of come out of that for now. I'm not sure how I accidentally launched the calculator, so we'll go ahead and close that. All right, and then from there, you've got your recents. And this is just like your recents on your phone, except it's set up, you know, in a desktop mode. So we're going to go ahead and click on that, and you'll see a full screen here of all of the different apps that I've recently opened. And with one click, you can close all of those. So we'll go ahead and do that and clear that out and then finally you could go right to home so if you have several apps open or you're in various windows you can click here and go back to your home screen can't use Bixby and Samsung deck so if you have that set up your soft key set up to launch Bixby while you're in dex mode Bixby will not work is the way I understand it I'm gonna be digging deeper into those things as we do additional videos Next up is a place where you can pin your favorite or most used apps and you simply right click and you can unpin that from the taskbar or if you're in on an app I believe you can right click and select let's see not in that case okay so the way this is going to work let's see I'm going to go into game launcher all right so now the way that works is you right click once it's open and you can pin that shortcut to your taskbar so we'll go ahead and pin that you'll get a pop-up telling you that it's there I'm gonna go ahead and close this out now what this is and I haven't tried this yet and this will be for another video this allows you to play games on your phone in full screen so it's an app from Samsung uh, set up specifically to give you um, you know more use and capability on your deck pad dex pad I have to be careful how I say that so let's go ahead and close this out for now. I do have Player Unknown installed, so hopefully we'll take a look at that and see how that works with the keyboard and mouse again in another video. All right, moving on from there, you've got a taskbar over here to the right, much like you see on many operating systems. Uh, you can collapse that so that it's not taking up you know, as much space. Uh, but I'll just go ahead and give you a quick rundown here. Any open apps are going to pop up here. Uh, this is going to show you some various modes, and this was something I was not fam familiar with as I was watching other videos. So right now we're in DEX mode or desktop mode, but perhaps you're a developer and you wanted to go into screen mirror mode. You could do that, and then that's going to pull up essentially a, a, a vertical phone screen, if you will, and you would interact with that just as if you were interacting with your phone except it'll be up on your desktop and then there's a fast charging mode so while your deck your phone is plugged into your decks it is charging but you can turn it on to fast charge mode which will basically uh, turn the screen off here and then you'll see a pop-up on your phone that says fast charging so I think those are pretty nice options you know maybe you're just uh, you know, you're just wanting to fast charge your phone. Maybe you're running your full-fledged uh, day-in, day-out, daily driver, Linux OS. You know, on this monitor, I've got two HDMI ports, so you can quickly switch from one to the other. So, you know, you could go right into fast charge mode. You get the idea. Then next up, you've got screencasting, uh, your Wi-Fi showing your signal here, as well as your phone connection showing your signal strength and your battery. Now from there, if you click, you're going to go into what you'd see if you drag from the top down for your various settings, and you can go right into things like Wi-Fi calling, airplane mode, hotspot, NFC, so on and so forth. Uh, or 
from there also. I forgot you could launch right over into, nope, we don't want to do that. Hit the wrong icon there. We'll go right over into settings. And so this is the typical settings list that you're going to see uh, from your phone, except again here we're in full screen dex mode. Well, let me, okay, there we go. Game launcher has stopped. You know, I've gotten this on the phone from day one. So after I installed Game Launcher, um, every so often I'll get this pop-up. So not sure what's up with that, but we'll check into it. Uh, some of your settings with... So you're not going to see Samsung DeX, for example, in your standard phone settings. So when you're not in DeX mode, this will not be an option on your phone. But while in DeX mode, you'll see it. But then you'll also see... Uh, wallpapers, things like that, uh, but you'll find that as you go into some of these settings that are typically available on your phone, they're going to be uh, not available. You'll see here they're really dimmed out because they're not available while you're in desktop mode. So that'll be some of the differences you'll see there. Alright, moving on from there, next up you're going to see Samsung DeX Labs. And with that turned on, as you see here, um, it's going to attempt to take an app that's maybe not optimized for the desktop mode and try to force it into that. And I think that that is something that is fairly new. When uh, DeX was first launched in 2017, I think there was a third-party app for that. Nevertheless, this is in place now, and it's kind of it works with mixed results. Uh, and we'll dig into that again in some additional videos coming up. All right, so you've got some options here for screen timeout, wallpapers. We'll take a quick look there. Uh, trust me, I'm not going to use this uh, shot of a drain that needs repair <laughs> as my wallpaper. We could switch over to, say, the default 2 here. And then you've got options for the home screen, the lock screen, or both. So we're going to go ahead and choose lock screen there, or home screen there. Set that as our wallpaper and brighten things up a little bit. You could toggle on the on-screen keyboard, set the default audio output, uh, receive marketing information. I'm not sure we would want to do, why would you put that? Do we really want marketing information? No, we do not. Uh, how to use Samsung DeX. So, you know, being a man, we'll skip right over that one. Uh, and then about Samsung DeX. So let's take a look here. This is version 2.5.64 telling me that it's uh, already installed and here is the open source license for that for those of you interested alright so that covers everything as far as the settings without getting getting into all of the details uh, and I may again save that for another video then from there next up we got a pop-up keyboard kind of small for desktop mode but you know you could quickly navigate this if you needed to volume controls this is all left click folks uh, so this is what you're going to see as it's laid out on your phone itself so if you pull down into settings and you launch into your volume control uh, this is exactly the way it's separated when i'm in phone mode versus desktop mode next up is a screenshot um, icon here and if you right click you could go to partial screenshot or full screenshot and so it does a nice job, and I was really surprised to see that there because, you know, of course, with your phone, you're going to hit volume down and your power button to capture the whole screen, but here you've got some options. Next up is quick search, so you could search for apps or settings. I'm not sure if that searches documents. That'll have to be something we dig into a little later. And then finally, you have your date and your time here. There are no right-click options on this, but if you left-click, it's going to pull up your calendar. And I'm not going to do that right now because I don't want to share everything that's within my calendar. So in upcoming videos, I'm going to take the time to kind of uh, blur out my personal information because what I want to do is go through the process of showing you that these optimized apps, which are essentially your Samsung system apps, they really integrate well within the DeX mode or the desktop mode if you will so you've got like your notes your reminders your messages phone all of this works extremely well in desktop mode as it should because it's a Samsung app uh, the same with gallery as same with the file explorer uh, but again I'm gonna save that for another series of videos 
and probably what I'll do on the next video is start getting into what works well from an app standpoint and what does it. Now finally to wrap things up I do want to talk about the Linux apps because I mentioned that in a previous video that there are going to that there's going to be native Linux app support and what I've discovered is that there's a sign up process with Samsung you register to be either invited or to I'm not quite sure yet it was very sparse but I did sign up uh, asking to be someone that could you know interact with Linux apps uh, through Dex mode so hopefully I'll get some sort of reply or instructions or something telling me how that works perhaps you have to be a developer I didn't say anything about that you, you know you have to be a developer so I'm hopeful that they'll let Linux Quest participate in this so that I can share all of that with you. All right, we're going to wrap it up for now. As always, thanks for watching and take care.